In this video we'll be looking at matrices. Now matrices are more a topic for the higher candidates, often doing further maths or potentially A-level maths if you're going on to it. So a matrix is just an array of numbers arranged in a big bracket with a certain number of rows and columns. They have many real life applications but none of which you need to really know until you maybe get to a degree level. So if you're doing GCSE or A-level then you don't need to worry about it at all. Okay, so let's have a look at the three things, the three main things that you can do with matrices. So as you can see here, we can add and subtract, we can multiply, and we have the identity matrix, which is a really important one at the end. So first of all, adding matrices. We have two matrices here. So these matrices here are what we would call two by two matrices. As you can see, they have two columns and two rows each. Now when it comes to adding, it's very important that the matrices are the same because all you do is you add the numbers that are in the similar place. So for example, the three and the two, because they're the, the top left most number, you would add those. Similarly for the two and the zero, and the six and the three, and finally the one and the two. So by adding those together, we can see three plus two, in the upper left corner, we're gonna get five. Two plus zero is gonna give us two. Six plus three, nine and 1 plus 2 is 3. And that is it. So subtracting would obviously be the same, but rather than adding the numbers, you subtract them. And as you can see, our result is a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, so when it comes to multiplying matrices, we have many different variants of how we can do it. So we can see we've got two matrices here, A and B, and they are both 2 by 2 matrices. So you can see here that would mean we've got two rows and two columns. So first of all, we have multiplying by a number or a constant, and in this case we have the 3. So let's look at question number 1. We have 3 times by A, and that would be 3 lots of 1, 2, 3, 4, that first matrix. And all we have to do when it comes to that is multiply that 3 by each element in the matrix, and that gives us our answer. So 3 times that matrix is 3, 6, 9, and 12. And that is our answer. Now the other kind is when we're multiplying together two matrices. So not by a number, by a whole matrix. So AB would simply be 1, 2, 3, 4. Multiplied by 2, 4, 6 and 8. And the way we do that is we want to take each row and insert it into each column. Now... There are four combinations of how we can do this. That maps our answer onto the final matrix as there are four separate positions for the numbers. So the first row and the first column that we have highlighted here, we would do one times two, add two times six. So one times two makes two, and two times six makes 14. So we can simply write 14 in here. Now for the upper right corner, it is in the first row, but it's in the second column. So we would use these two here. And again, we apply the first number with the first number, 1 times 4, and add that to 2 times 8. So 1 times 4 makes 4, 2 times 8 makes 16. Overall, we're going to have 20. And if we repeat that step for the bottom row, we are going to have 3 and 4, so the bottom row of the first matrix, and the first column of the second matrix. That will give us our bottom left. And for our bottom right, we do the bottom row and the second column. So our two numbers, we're gonna have three times two and four times six. So three times two is six, four times six is 24. So that's gonna leave us with 30. And then for the final place, we have three times four is 12 and four times eight is 32, leaving us with 44 as our answer. Now, in most situations, matrices are something called non-commutative. So that would mean that if we were to do it the other way around, so that we have B times A rather than A times B, then they won't give the same answer. So compared to how multiplication normally works, we would have 4 times 3 gives us 12. But if we were to switch it, 3 times 4, that also gives us 12. In matrices, that is not always the case. It does work for some examples, but most of the time, this is the general rule. So A times B does not equal B times A. 
Now that is pretty much everything that you will have to know on multiplication. Finally, let's look at identity. So identity matrices are very important, especially when it comes to those real life applications I was talking about at the start. So identity matrices can come in any dimension. So as you can see here, we have I2, I3. That will go all the way up to I100 if you want. Um, but I doubt you'll ever really need to use that. So I2 would simply be a two by two matrix where you've got ones down the diagonals and zeros everywhere else. And I3 would be a three by three matrix. So you've got three rows and three columns. So again, ones down the diagonal, zeros everywhere else. Now anything multiplied by the identity matrix doesn't change it at all. It is a very useful tool but as long as you are familiar with what identity means or what the identity matrix is, then you'll be completely fine with this. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that helped.